Gonna have to drink some water for this one. <laughs> Happy video day guys. So for today's video, I am all swatched up. <laughs> I decided that I wanted to do something different on my channel because honestly guys, I think I'm really tired of how much the makeup industry just continuously is throwing new palettes and new palettes down our throat. And this is not any one brand's fault. This is multiple brands' faults. You know what guys, it's a whole industry in itself and just because we've gotten so many thrown at us, it just gets so overwhelming. And I will be honest, guys, I'm overwhelmed with it too. There was a time there I was buying eyeshadow palettes and everything was so cool because I didn't feel like every five seconds a new one was releasing, but now I do. Now I feel like it's like, okay, okay, all right. I decided I wanted to add a new series to my channel and this is gonna be called Make Up Your Mind. So what we're gonna do in this series, guys, is when there's a brand new release and I feel like it is so beautiful that I want it and I'm like, I need it, I need it. I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna look through my collection and I'm gonna see if I can recreate that palette using items that I already own to see if I already kind of have this palette. And I feel like this is something that we all need to start doing because I mean, we can't have 5,000 palettes inside of our offices or our rooms or our bathrooms because they just keep on coming out with new ones. We're not going to think of eyeshadow palettes as eyeshadow palettes. We're going to think of them as colors in this series and we're going to try to see if we need to make up our mind whether we should purchase this brand new release or not. First one just so happens to be one that I really wanted and I have it inside of my cart and I really want it. And that is the Mercury Retrograde palette from Huda Beauty that just got announced and is really seen Probably already by the time this video airs, it'll be up for sale. But um, I was dying for this palette. I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was so cool. And I decided to step back for a second and, you know, $65 for a palette. Let me see if I have it. And guys, I shocked myself while doing this, to be honest, I really did. I actually created this eye look, which would be a similar eye look that you could probably create with the Mercury Retrograde palette because I'm using very similar colors. So before we get into everything and I show you guys all these swatches I have all over my arms, I just wanna quickly introduce myself to you. I'm Christina Brooke and what we do is talk about makeup. So if you guys like that and you like me and you wanna see me again, I would love it if you would just take a second, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell because that helps YouTube know that you like my channel and maybe it'll suggest it to some other people who like makeup too. So let's go ahead and let's get right into all of the comparisons. I'll show you guys what I found. You can decide with me and we can make up our minds together. Got swatches on each one of my arms, guys. And yeah, I think I was able to recreate this palette pretty easily using a few brand new makeup releases that you probably own already. And actually with two palettes from Huda Beauty, itself. All right, guys, so this Mercury Retrograde palette, honestly, guys, is so pretty. It was something that looked different to me, to be honest. I was like, ooh, that's so different. And um, like I said, some of these colors may not be exactly the same exact colors that I am swatching them to, but compared to the photograph, this is what looks very similar to me. And you have to remember too, on the eyes, a slight difference in color variation is not gonna be super noticeable. This was actually shocking. The side of the palette that I actually thought that was the most unique was actually the easiest for me to find, which is mind boggling to me. I honestly thought that the more simplified looking one, like the neutral tones, I was like, I'm gonna find like 5,000 of those. I had a harder time finding those than I did the brand new, like kind of like cool shades. Those I actually found pretty easily, which kind of shocked me. And like I said, they're not gonna be exact, exact colors, but I mean like to create a very similar look, you're gonna have some pretty so damn similar. right here on my arm, I have swatched all of the colors from different palettes. I went into the new Carly Bible palette from Anastasia. I actually used a palette from Huda Beauty, the Emerald Obsessions. Um, I also used another palette from Huda Beauty, which is the new nude palette. And finally, to grab a few tones that were a little bit harder to find, I did use the Natasha Denona Lila palette. So if you have these four palettes, you've got very similar tones in your collection. So let's start off with the fun side, which I think is the side that most people are gonna say, like, that's the reason I'm buying the palette. I'm buying the palette for that fun side. I don't have those colors. So these right here 
are the swatches of the colors that are on the fun side of the palette that I think I did a pretty damn good job finding them, at least similar tones to them. And actually a few of them were actually in Huda Beauty palettes themselves. So the first color that we're gonna look at right now is this first tone right here. So inside of the Mercury Retrograde palette, this is called Cosmic. Now I was able to find this color actually inside of Huda Beauty's palette of the new nude. So the color inside of here is called Daydream. Looking at the two from the swatches, it almost looks like Cosmic may be a little bit of a lighter pink than this color. It might be a little bit off, but like honestly looking at them both together, like from the swatch and looking at this color, they're not gonna look super different on the eyes based off of the tone that I see in the swatches. I mean, it could look a little bit different in person, but that color is pretty close. So the next color is called Utopia. Now Utopia is a kind of corally color. I've been seeing this color very like often. And just recently, I just finished seeing it in the brand new Carly Bible palette in the color Cindy. So I actually found it right here. So this is the color Cindy. This is a very similar tone. I feel like these two colors are going to actually look pretty damn similar. There's also another color very similar to Cindy and the Utopia color in the Born to Run palette. So this is a very typical color. You may be a little bit different with the undertone, but for the most part, they're pretty similar. So this color right here in the Carly Bible palette, Cindy, it almost looks like a pretty similar almost spot on tone. So inside the Mercury Retrograde, the next color that I was looking for was the color Ultra Violet. Now this was a harder one to find and that's why I had to add in the Lila palette. Inside of the Lila palette, there is this color right here. Now that is this one swatched right here. Swatched, it has a little bit of a darker undertone. I have a feeling the one inside the retrograde palette may be a little bit more purple, whereas this one goes a little bit more blue purple. So I almost feel like this color may be a little bit different. Is it gonna make a huge difference on the eyes? It may not. So when I jumped into the next color, I think it's called Nubula, Nubula? I don't know, Nubula? So that color looked very similar to me, like I had just finished seeing it, and it's because I kind of did. And it is Jode from the Carly Bible palette. So if you look at Jode, I honestly, this Jode color, it just looks very similar to the color that they just finished releasing Huda Beauty. It's probably the same. There was also another color inside of the Carly Bible called OA, and that one has more glitter in it, so that's why I didn't do that one. That's why I picked Jode. I have a feeling the Mercury Retrograde palette has a little bit less glitter in it, but yeah, that color is pretty similar. It's pretty similar. Now the next two colors kind of shocked me. So I thought that these greens were like, that really made the palette. If you look at the palette, those greens pop out to me like crazy. And I didn't realize, but I kind of have those greens and they are from Huda Beauty as well. The mercury color inside of the new palette was beautiful, so eye-catching. And if you guys can see, I kind of swatched a similar tone right here. It's actually this color right here coming straight out of her Emerald Obsession. This color just looks so spot on similar, like color-wise, that I'm like, oh gosh, you know, I may have that. And then, then I went over to the next color, which is actually the color Haze. Now this color is the color that I actually have in the inner portion of my eye. I feel like this is gonna be a super important color to this brand new palette. And I kind of found a similar color. I don't think it's super spot on, but it's pretty damn close. And it's this one as well from the Emerald Obsession. Now. I feel like this color is going to be a tad lighter than the color that's going to be coming inside of the Mercury Retrograde. So are they similar? They may be somewhat similar, but I do feel like the Retrograde palette is going to be a little bit darker. So that color is one that I'm kind of iffy on, like, okay, well, you're trying to convince me already that maybe I need the new palette because there's two colors here for sure that I feel like I might have a pretty different tone to. It is this one and this one so far. So I have two that I'm kind of like, okay, well, I kind of don't have that color. So then we're gonna have to keep on going so I can keep on making up my mind whether I need this brand new palette or not. And that is this color right here that I swatched in the brand new palette that's called Off Balance. I was able to find a similar color inside of the new nude and that is the color Tickle. I feel like this Tickle color, to be honest guys, looks very similar. So like looking at the two colors side by side, I'm like, I just personally feel like they look kind of damn similar. Like I'm looking at the swatch, I'm looking at the picture of the swatch and I'm like, Can't 
I mean, it looks similar to this color inside of the new nude. It just really, really does. So that one I feel like is pretty damn similar. So then if we move over to Galaxy, which is like that golden color, I actually feel like there's a very similar color inside of the Carly Bible palette, which is Mod. Now this color looks like it almost swatches the same. So I feel like this golden tone from the Carly Bible palette is going to be pretty damn similar to the color that's inside of this palette. Um, with it, whether the color is gonna be a little bit different, it may, but I don't know, it just looks very, very similar. Now the last color in here, I honestly feel like this is the most unique color in this entire palette. The one that had the hardest time finding was Libra. This is almost like a lilac -y color, and for me, it was difficult to find. I wanted to stick to four palettes, so it wasn't like me going through 5,000 of my palettes, but this color, I was able to find a similar one to Lace inside of the New Nude. Now, I do feel like the one inside of the Mercury Retrograde goes a lot more pink than this one. This one goes a lot more purple. But when I think about it, I don't really love the fact that the one in the Mercury Retrograde goes more pink because I don't tend to wear like those type of real pink colors. So even though this may be one of the colors that I do not have, it's not like my favorite color not to have. Do you know what I'm, you, you understand what I'm saying there? So out of all of these that I'm looking at here and looking at the colors that I have them swatched right here, I'm like, hmm, I may have a lot of these colors. There may be two that are not gonna be perfect, but I need to really love those two to pay $65 to buy a palette that may have similar colors to some of my other palettes. You know what I'm saying? At this point swatching, I was kind of like, oh, I don't really know if I need this palette. I can't believe this. I honestly thought that this one was gonna be really hard to find the colors and finding the colors in like those cool colors, I was like, that's weird. <laughs> I shouldn't have found those colors, but when we moved over to the side that was more neutral, I couldn't believe that I had a harder time finding them, but this is how, this is the colors I was able to find to match to them. Um, I will be showing better swatches, but I was having a harder time finding these. So let's jump into the first color. So in the Mercury Retrograde, there's a color called Crash. What a cool color. It's like a nudie type of color. I did find the color Secret inside of the New Nude. I do think that the color Crash may be a little bit more taupe than the color in the New Nude, but they're very similar. They're very similar, at least from the swatch. They're very similar. Now, the next color, which is called Momentum. Now, that color, I was like, okay, this looks so similar to Play from the New Nude and Swatched. I feel like they do look similar. The one that's in the retrograde does look like it might be a little bit lighter, but I don't know if that's going to make such a big difference. Do you know what I mean? So like this color, it may be very similar. It may be very similar. Super Moon may be the most unique color in this entire palette. I had a really hard time finding Super Moon. The only color that I can find that was similar to Super Moon is this color right here from the Natasha Denona Lila palette. However, I feel like the one that's in the retrograde palette is going to go more silver, and this one has more of a pink shift. I feel like it may look similar, but I think Super Moon might be like that color that is so unique that is hard to find. So I'm happy that I was able to find like a real like, wow, that's a unique color. So Vortex is the next color. Um, I was able to find a similar color in this color right here from the Huda Beauty palette. This is called Love Bite. Now I do think that the one that's inside of the new retrograde palette is gonna be a lot deeper. So even though I was able to find a similar hue, I do not believe that those are gonna be like super similar. On the eye, will they be different? I feel like the deeper color might be a little bit more like dark on the lids, whereas this one goes a little bit light. So yeah, I do think that that one might make a difference. So that one kind of got me a little like, okay, we've got two colors here, two or three colors here that I'm like, mm -mm, don't really have you. When I jump into Hot Mess, I actually was able to find a similar color inside of New Nude as well, which is called Spanked. Now Spanked, I feel like has a very similar hue. Like when I was swatching it, I go, well, that one actually does look pretty similar. So the next one here is called Supernova. And now Supernova reminded me a lot of the color Kinky inside of the New Nude. And Swatched, I mean, they look like they could be pretty similar to each other. So I find that one to maybe be a pretty decent dupe to each other. On the lid, they can look a little bit different, but I feel like they might be similar. 
So then I was kind of like, okay, so now I have like a few that are like different and then there's a few that are like the same. So at this point, I'm kind of really honestly confused if I want this new palette. Then if I jump into the color Karma, I was able to find a very similar color in Teddy. Teddy is a very similar tone to it and I feel like it's gonna be pretty damn similar. So hmm. when I was looking for the next color, which is called Gl Gold Glitch, um, I wasn't able to find it in any of the Huda palettes or the Anastasia one, but I did find this color inside of the Natasha Denona Lila palette that I feel like is very, very similar. So it's kind of like I had a kind of similar hue in that one. And then finally, the last color, which is this one right here called Frazzled. I was able to find another similar color in the new nude palette called Crave. So I felt like Crave looked very similar. So... Overall, I feel like the more neutral colors, I had a little bit of a harder time finding like actual real dupes to them. However, I do feel like it was very highly inspired by this new nude side. And I feel like if you have the new nude palette, I have a feeling you're gonna have a lot of people starting to do a lot of comparisons to the new nude. Cause looking at the swatches and like finding most of the ones that I was able to find like, hey, these look similar. A lot of them were coming from the new nude. I'm shocked at the, the two colors that I thought were going to be like the most impressive. I actually found in a Huda palette, very similar colors, the emerald one. Um, and then, you know, between the Carly Bible and the Lila palette, I was able to finish off purpley and like the coral colors. So, so this was a very interesting process to me. Like I want to reiterate that these are not going to be like exact duplicate colors because I can't, I don't actually have the palette. And sometimes when you swatch a palette and photography, it could be a little bit different. It's very simple to just say, you know, these colors are so different. They're so different. And then you go out and buy it and then you're like, eh, I mean, it, it, yeah, it's different, but I mean, eh, how different is it really? So after doing this whole entire thing and like kind of like really looking at this, I do feel like I have very similar tones in my collection already. I don't think that I really need this palette. I do not. The only reason that I would purchase this palette is to have all of these tones together in one palette so that I don't have to jump into different ones. But to say that I really honestly need it so bad, I really do not. And I feel like I wanted to show you guys this because if you're at home and you own some of these palettes and you feel tempted to want to buy this brand new release and maybe you don't have the means to purchase it and you're just dying to buy it, if you have any of these palettes that I just showed you that you went out and purchased, you may have a lot of the colors are ready, or at least colors that are so similar that you may not be able to tell on the lid how different they are from the new palette. So I feel like this might be a fun way for us to analyze palettes before we go out and purchase them. And I feel like it's fun for me to do this because I would not have done this. I would have just purchased it. And after a while, guys, my makeup drawer is literally gonna spit out at me. Like it's gonna be like, I don't have space. Like, <sighs> The most shocking part to this is the part, the side that I really thought that I didn't have, I freaking have a lot of the colors, or at least very similar ones. So at the end of the day, guys, if I have to make up my mind right now, I would say I shouldn't purchase this. I really shouldn't. So yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you guys take a moment to look through your collection before you go out and purchase any brand new makeup release. And I hope to continue to do this for you guys so that maybe we can find if we have these products already inside of our collection before we go and add more and more and more and more. At the end of the day, I want to know from you guys, did you make up your mind off of this video or have you done this on your own? And what did you guys find in your collection? Leave me your comments below. What did you guys think is this new release? really, really, really something that we really need to purchase like right now for you. Because remember, you might not have everything I have, so maybe it is worth it for you. But I want to know down below. If you guys like this video and you want me to continue to do it, don't forget to let YouTube know that you like it by hitting the subscribe button, hitting the bell, giving it a like, giving me a comment, let YouTube know that you enjoy this video, let me know that you enjoy this video, and I will continue to do them for you. Maybe we can start doing them for a lot of the brand new makeup releases, and yeah, we'll get together and we'll look through everything we have and see if it's really worth it or not, right? So anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.